Hello, welcome to Life in the Bat Studio. If you want to hang around and see what this vlog is all about, stay tuned for more. Hello, my name is Don Howitt, and I'm coming to you from my home studio, affectionately called the Bat Studio. This isn't a name I came up with, but over the years, my music room and my modest Batman collection have been in the same space. My friends coined the phrase while asking me what I've been doing musically. They might say something like, Hey Don, what have you been working on in the Bat Studio? A few years ago, I made it official by placing the shingle outside the studio door. So what is the life in the Bat Studio about? Basically, it's a snapshot of what I'm working on in the studio. It could be a musical part, it could be a recording technique, it could be a demo of a guitar, a virtual instrument, or a piece of hardware. It may also from time to time focus on the video setups I use to make my music videos. I'll talk about the videos in a few minutes. But whatever the episode is about, I assure you the episodes will be short. Before we move on, I want to tell you what this vlog is not. Although I may show you recording techniques for musical instruments or software, my goal is to show you what I'm doing, not teach you how to play or use a particular piece of software. YouTube has plenty of excellent videos on learning recording software and musical development. At the end of this video, there will be a playlist link of content of that sort, and also a link for my latest musical project. Although I might demo a piece of gear, it will be more of a test drive. Just like what I mentioned a moment ago about recording software or musical development, there are better channels for you to pursue to get comprehensive details on musical equipment. Up to this point, my channel has been a place for me to post music that I've created. When I come back, I'll conclude this episode with some background on myself and something about the music on this channel. I started dabbling in recording when I was in elementary school with the use of two cassette decks. This was before multi-track cassette decks existed, at least in my universe. What I would do is record a guitar part on the first cassette deck, I would play it back while recording an overdub on the guitar, and the second deck would record both the guitar and the playback of the first deck. The cassette players of that period had built-in condenser mics, as well as handheld microphones. Later I would try putting the handheld into the sound hold of my guitar, which produced some truly amazing sounds, I thought. In reality, I'm sure it sounded awful. But as a kid, just discovering those sonic possibilities, I remember discovering those with fondness. When I was 17, I met a guy who had a multi-track setup in his apartment. We met through a mutual friend who told him she knew a young songwriter. We got together and started recording what became my first cassette album. Back in those days, cassettes were how you got your music heard. When I was in my 20s, I acquired my first multi-track deck, a TAC 2340. I bought it used for $400. In 1999, I bought a Bondi colored iMac, a 333 megahertz G3. At this point, I started recording in the digital domain. My next home, I had a studio above the garage. My current studio I've been in since 2012. Considering that I've been involved in this hobby since the late 70s, I don't have a lot to show for it. Until recently, my civilian career was at UPS, and reality for the UPSer is that the hours are long, and there's not much time for personal life. I've been a little busy this month. I retired from UPS last year, so the good news is I have a lot more room for music, travel, cooking, reading, movies, and other things. There was also the late 80s through most of the 90s where I didn't do much music apart from playing drums for the church band. And of course, this was the period of raising my kids, which was my priority. 
As far as the channel goes, my main focus has been posting videos of my more recent compositions. My first posts were more or less audio versions of some tunes from a Christmas project I put together in 2001. The video content was minimal in these. Later in 2011, I posted a lyric video of a 30-minute suite. Basically, the video content was the lyrics and credits only. And 2014, with the video Victims, is when I settled on the format I have maintained to this day. And that is a video clip format with animated lyrics, with occasional footage of musical instrumentation to emphasize the musical parts of the song. This latest aspect can be the most challenging. No one said making a music video was going to be easy. <laughs> In addition to this vlog, I hope you'll take the time to check out the music on this channel. Looking ahead, what I have planned for future episodes, a travel guitar demo, building a mic closet, or in this case, a mic toolbox, using time stretch on a guitar part. And there will be more as I progress in my current project. If this is the kind of content you might enjoy. I'd appreciate you tuning in to Life in the Bat Studio. That's all for now. Look for episode two. Thanks for watching.